as a Christian, can you be saved without the human crucifixion of Jesus Christ? No, we can't. So how do you see grace in the death of an innocent man for the sins of others? Well, it's, it's not that he's just an innocent man. This is where we got to, I think, at the end of our last discussion. Well, you and I will agree that God doesn't die. So the only person who died on the cross for both of us has to be a man. Well, he... Well, well, because he was... <laughs> you can't, come on, you, you know God doesn't die. God. Yeah, but you know God doesn't die, right? Yes, but we so who died on the cross was a man. Well, uh, 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 Jesus as well, God as man, he died. He did die at the cross, but he, uh, but he, but he, but he, but he had to in a way. In order Why did he have to? He had to to be a, a true sacrifice. No, no, but that's a, that's a question I'm asking. Why does God require the sacrifice of a human being, a human sacrifice, well, not, when he's when he's more than capable of, like you said, with his grace, his compassion, his mercy, to be able to forgive you, like in the Islamic concept which is the true forgiveness, which is the true grace, which is the true mercy, that without the need to sacrifice any innocent man like Jesus Christ, he's able to forgive you. Well, the, it's not, it's, I mean, it doesn't make sense if he, if he were just a man, I accept that. Because he, Jesus has to be man and God in order for, if you like, God to be the solution to the problem of his own wrath. If you take on board the fact that God, that Jesus is divine, that God, in Jesus died in order to solve the problem of God's own wrath. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get that right. So you're it's saying... Not, it's, not just, it's, so, not just, so, it's not just It's not just. me dying on behalf of you, say. It's God in the person of Jesus Christ dying for you and, and for me and for the sins of the whole world. Yeah, but that, so, still, doesn't, that still doesn't make sense when it comes to so the justice of God. Well, it, but it's human sacrifice. Yeah, that's what I well, told it's, him it's, Yeah, but it's divine sacrifice no, at the not. same divine time. No, it's not. Divine doesn't die. It has to be human Well, it's, it, it, is, it, it is in the sense that Jesus became flesh. Such okay, who died on the cross? God or man? The God-man died on the cross. Is the God-man fully God? Yes, he is. Okay. Does, does, wait, wait, wait. If he's fully God, does he have immortality? Yes, he does, in the same way that our souls have. If he has immortality, but can he die? Yeah, but our... You're going to contradict yourself by the way. Yeah, but... <laughs> no matter how you spin it. Yes, but what is immortal, Ed? And the same set, simple it, question. What's in, immortal? Well, um, it, well, well that, that which will, will never die. Thank you. Okay. When I asked you who died on the cross, yes? Was he fully God? And you said yes. And, does and, the fully, and is the fully God immortal? Yes. And you said yes. Yes. And then when I asked you to define immortal, what was your answer? That which does not die. Well, he doesn't die in his issue like his spirit, in the sense that our souls don't die. But we, then we all are immortal by your definition. Well, in a, well, yeah, that's right. So our souls are. So why does the Bible say only God is immortal? First Timothy six sixteen. Is that what? That what? Yeah. Should I quote it to you? He alone is immortal who lives in an approachable light, whom no man has seen or can see. Who is that? A well, reason for you. That is God. Thank that you. is God. Yeah. Thank well, you. Okay. Now, that's is that... Me there. Is, is oh. that <laughs> so can we exclude, but, but can we exclude Jesus from that definition? Uh, well, hang on. Can we step back a bit? Immortality means someone is not subject to death. The term death means separation of the soul from the body. Does that happen to us and yes. to Jesus Christ? It, it yes. Does, but it, it, does that happen to the Father? No. no. So who is immortal? Yeah, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's clear cut, man. Come on, yeah, it, don't fight it. <laughs> the more you fight it, the more you dig yourself in. All it. You know? I tell you, it, I, I, I tell you why. Yeah, it, 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 it has to work because if otherwise Jesus wouldn't be a, a true representative, and God. It has to work by you having to contradict your logic. The only well, way you can do this is put your logic aside and then just believe blindly. Yeah, but it does. That's the only way it's going to work. No, I'm, I'm not believing blindly. You I'm, are. I'm believing on the basis of. I'm, I'm believing on the basis of the principle of substitution. The princess, The principle of non-contradiction should apply here. What is the principle of non-contradiction? That whatever you say should not. The, it should not be internally contradictory. In this case, you either maintain is fully God and immortal. Or you maintain he died for you. It's a cash 22, mate. Yeah, but I mean... <laughs> you see, look, doesn't matter how you, how you dissect it. Yeah. You're going to come to 
a position which you either ascribe to God as being not immortal or you start saying, I don't believe in the crucifixion. But because you want to maintain both, then you're going to contradict. You know, one of the principles in the Quran is that if this book is from other, other than Allah, other than God, then surely you'll find contradictions in it. Well, I I, the I, fact I that I see contradictions in your book well, shows to me that it see, cannot be from God Almighty. Well, with respect, I don't see quite the contradiction the same way that you do. Do you not? Do. Okay. No, I don't quite, I, shall I spell it out again for you? No, no, no. <laughs> let's not. Let's he not knows, he knows let's the not, contradiction. Let's,